hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button now let's get right into this video so for today's video born pretty sent me over some of their translucent gel polishes to review so that's what today's video will be on so when i open up the package first we see the little instruction booklet this just shows you how to properly apply their gel polishes and then next it comes with six gel polishes and i'm really loving their packaging with the white and gold i feel like that is so pretty but this is how the bottle looks up close it's just says born pretty on the front and then on the back it also says this is their strawberry party gel series and then it also gives you the name of the color here i'm just going to show you the consistency of one bottle because all of them are just about the same so here is the consistency and then i'm going to get into swatching the colors so this first color we have here is called Miss Coco and these are the translucent so these are very very sheer so if you do want to have a more opaque look with these you will have to build them up until you get the coverage you want. So here is that second color called Orphelia and for this color I wanted to show you guys how it looks inside the bottle. In the bottle it looks a more pinkish but once I go to swatch this color it barely looks like anything at all. So this will be one of the colors that you would have to build up if you want a more opaque look. And when I was swatching this I did go in with like layer and layer just to like see. It didn't really become anything so I just ended up wiping the side and this is how it looks before I cured and I'm going on to the next color and this color is more on the like brown side this is called sycamore street and this color reminds me a lot of the sing sweet and sun from the nail addict collection that I used in a previous video down I make sure that I link it in the cards or in the description box but that color does remind me of that color from nail addict LA So this is the last color that comes in the kit and these are all how they look side by side after being cured for 60 seconds. These colors are all nice but they are more on the sheer side and this color here the flower wedding is very very sheer but weirdly enough like I do like the sheerness of it depending on what you want to go for and then I decided to add another coat of these and also cure so I'm just going to do that really fast and then I'm going to pop it back in the light for about 60 seconds. So like I said, once being cured once again for 60 seconds, this is how the second coat of all of these gel polishes look. These colors are very nice, but I did have a problem like trying to figure out what I was going to do, but I'll get more into that later once I start my nails set. But I do have a code just in case you guys are interested in getting anything from Born Pretty or this gel polish set. The code is Nails by Key BP and it will save you 20% off your order. But this coat will expire June 27th, so make sure that you go ahead and get these while you can. And I will also make sure that I link it in the description box. So moving on to my nail set here, I have some full cover nails that I get from AliExpress. I use in my videos all the time, and I have my nail stand. I'm just taking my hand file to clean up the shape and also get rid of that piece of plastic. So next I'm taking a sanding band with my Melanie Susie nail drill and I'm going to be removing the shine from all of the nail tips. I decided to keep this part in to show you guys a way to make your gel polish last longer. Removing the shine just gives the nail texture. When I think of applying gel polish to like the shiny nail, I think of oil and water like it just don't mix. 
applying your gel polish to a shiny surface will also have your gel polish peeling a whole lot faster so adding texture and removing the shine just allows your gel polish to last a lot longer so that's what i'm going to be doing to all of the nail tips you can also use a hand file but i just went in with my nail drill since it was a lot faster and then once i remove the shine from the nail tip i just go in and file the cuticle area to flatten out that part of the nail so once i go in and apply these the nails don't look bulky around the cuticle area it gives it a more natural look and i'm just going to repeat these same steps over all the nails So once I'm done removing the shine, I just take my little brush and wipe away all of the dust. And then I just go in and add a layer of base coat to all of the nails and then I cure for 30 seconds. So these are the two colors that I thought about using, but I only end up using one, which is the browner shade, which is Sycamore Street. And I'm just going to be applying this to my index ring and pinky finger. I did go in with two coats because the, the first coat was a little bit too see-through and sheer. So I did go in at the curing and add another layer. Coming up with a design for the shell polishes was quite difficult just because they are so translucent like you can't really do much with these colors. I feel like these colors are only good for like background colors for a more brighter design or like stickers or something or maybe if you are more creative than me you could come up with something but this kit wasn't my favorite. These colors are super nice like natural tone colors but just due to them being so translucent this wasn't my favorite kit. I just feel like you can't really do much with these colors. So I did go in with a brown color that didn't come in the kit and I just painted that on the ring and thumb finger and I did go in with the second coat carrying in between and that's just what I'm doing now. So I went to cure these in the light for 60 seconds and then for the three fingers that I use the Born Pretty Sycamore Street color, I'm just taking a nail art brush and the brown colors that I use for the thumb and ring finger. I'm just going to do like a little swirly line like the abstract design that's going around. I just did one of those lines on each of the nails.
so once I was done adding those little lines this is how it looks I just cured that for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna go in with some of my small rhinestones to apply these I'm adding some top coat to the entire nail of the little abstract line designs and I'm just taking my wax pencil and just adding some rhinestones along those brown lines over each of the three nails and then once I finish I'm going to cure that in the light and then while that's curing I'm just going to move on to the next nail until I'm done with each of the nails And once I was done with the pinky, I did go in and add some rhinestones to the brown nails just around the cuticle area though. And once I add those to the thumb and ring finger, I'm just going to cure for 30 seconds. So after being cured these are how the nails are looking. Next I go over the brown nails with the top coat and then I cure for 60 seconds and then I will be done with these. And then I just applied these to my nails and here you see I do have on a pink set. I did want it to like show two nail sets since I didn't, I couldn't do much with the colors. I wanted to do two sets but here is the first set. Super pretty. I love the rhinestones on these. I love that color like it reminds me of that color from Nail Addict and these I lost the footage because it took me so many tries to come up with a design. I accidentally deleted the footage for these nails but I used that that flower wedding color that really really sheer pink and then I add some glitter and some little star sequins nothing too crazy for those and then I added a top coat I wish I could have showed you guys but like I said I accidentally deleted the footage but yeah here are the nails if you are interested in these gel polishes make sure to use my code nails by key BP and it will save you 20% off your orders which expires June 27 comment down below what you guys think of these nails and as always if you have made it this far don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video